Welcome back to Squawk Box. Fintech companies have begun moving into traditional banking, and now JP Morgan is retaliating today, unveiling its new fintech inspired service called Quick Accept, aimed at its more than 3 million small business customers. By moving into electronic payments, JP Morgan is pitting itself directly against the likes of PayPal and Square. So, what's at stake for the bank? Joining us right now with the details is Hussan, of course, our banking reporter for CNBC.com. Hugh. Uh, this is a this is a move. The question is how successful it can be. Yeah, Andrew, shots fired in fintech land for sure. So, so basically, when you think about it, they have three million. They actually have three million plus accounts. They have roughly ten percent of the whole deposit base for small businesses in this country. And so, for the most part, when they flip this on, and they've, they've they're starting to do that this week, you know, their customers will have access to something. That people who use Square or PayPal or Clover, which is owned by First Data, which is owned by Fiserv, they've had for years, which is this ability to do point of sale credit card transactions through a little hardware device called a dongle. And so I think this is the story of this is really the democratization of fintech. Right? Square and Jack Dorsey basically invented this category a decade ago. And now, you know, now JP Morgan's clients will have access to it. And, and your sense, though, in terms of Square and PayPal's ability to fight J.P. Morgan, I mean, I'm, J.P. Morgan would say they're hamstrung to begin with because they're a regulated entity, and they'd say that PayPal and Square are getting away with murder, frankly, because they have virtually no regulations around them. Right, yeah, I mean, certainly the bank lobby would argue that, that the fintechs, you know, and Square, for instance, has its own bank, I believe, in, in Utah now. I think that's actually a thing. So, so basically, they're all competing on all grounds in all areas both small business and consumer, and for the most part, if you you know if you look at this from J.P. Morgan's perspective, they're actually they're actually they're actually the differentiator, right? If you can't be first, you have to be a little bit better. So J.P. Morgan is offering this with essentially same day funding. So for instance, if you're a merchant, you sell something, you have a sale at 10 a.m. That money hits your Chase business account that same day. And if you're working with Square or the others, because they don't have integrated, they don't have the same offerings, they don't have the the checking account necessarily, as well as you know the fintech offering the payments rails that they take at least a day or day or more. And on top of that, if you want instant you know instant payments with Square or others, they typically charge an additional 1.5 percent. So this is the this is the wedge that JP Morgan thinks they have. They basically say that if you work with us, you're going to get same day payments and it's for free. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.